This was my house when I first bought it five months ago. The bathrooms were outdated, the bedroom layout was awkward, and the kitchen was dark and cramped. Now the place looks and feels completely different. Good morning! I'm on my little walk with Jupiter. It's been five months since I started renovating my house in Mexico City and I finally feel like I'm kind of settling into a routine here. When I moved in, I did not expect renovation to take this long but it has literally been like a full-time job the last five months. I've been living off my mattress in the middle of construction dust in my living room for literally for the last five months. So whew, I'm just happy that it's done and I can't wait to show you guys. It looks so good. So we're gonna go grab some breakfast now and when we're back at the house, I'll show you guys around. Okay. All right, Jupy's going a little crazy. We're back at the house and let's take a look around. I wanna show you what I did. Welcome to my most favorite room in the house, the kitchen. Now when I moved in, it looked nothing like this. This was a very cramped looking dark granite countertop area and it was super ugly and I love to cook so I really need space to spread out all my stuff. So I actually added this entire L-shaped island here and now I have all the space to cook and also to entertain and this countertop also doubles as like a dining room table because I don't have a separate dining room area. Okay, so what I did here in the kitchen was in order to save a bit of money, I kept the existing cabinet structure, but because I didn't like how it looked, I took out the cabinet faces and replaced those. So that's one kitchen renovation tip for you. So before I had this dark, ugly stuff, now it's like this navy blue color. These are all custom made cabinet faces. I got new handles on Amazon, just had my carpenter put those on. Beautiful maple butcher block countertop. And I also had this vision of like this open shelving minimalist Scandinavian kitchen look. So I ripped out all the upper cabinets and just put open shelves instead. And I'm still finding cute things to put up there, but I just really love it. It's a very open, fresh look. And I don't have my cookware out right now. I have it all stored away, but I'm such a stickler for things to match. So my microwave, my tea kettle, and my utensil crock and my cookware all match. It's this beautiful like cream color that I think goes really well with the navy blue of the kitchen cabinets. I gotta say there were a few cultural mishaps working with contractors in Mexico. And this is even with me speaking fluent Spanish so it definitely wasn't a language issue I have experienced this several times where sometimes people that I'm working with don't ask me clarifying questions maybe because they want to be polite and don't want to like bother me with questions I really don't know what it is I have to say that was a super frustrating thing and one of the reasons why the renovation took five months instead of maybe the two months that it should have taken I love butcher block and even though I know granite and quartz are something more durable and stain resistant is more practical, this is my dream home. I'm not trying to be practical here. I want like what I want. And so this was definitely an extra added cost. Going back to what I said about with that carpenter, he initially didn't ask me what wood I wanted. And so the first butcher block was made of pine and it was super ugly. And so we had to get that redone and that was an extra cost. So there were definitely some mistakes that added to the cost along the way, but you know, I love my countertop and the result is amazing. So it is what it is. Now let's go to the office area, which is right next to the kitchen. I really didn't do much here. I just added this painted arch. I always love this look and I feel like it kind of makes it look like its own area. I'm going to be adding some artwork, but really mostly what I did here was put furniture and a lot of plants because I'll be spending a lot of time working at this desk and it's nice to be surrounded by nature. That's it for the office area. Really didn't do much here. Let's go check out the living room. Here we are in the living room. I also didn't do much here. I really only added this floating lamp. I also kind of made over this area with some extra floating shelves. This area doesn't have much because I'm going to make it like a dance area, dance and yoga, which is why I left it nice and open with a bunch of mirrors and no furniture. Something else I had to do was I retouched the hardwood floors because they were quite faded. Turns out hardwood floors are beautiful, but they are actually a lot of work to maintain. That's really all I did. Of course, I added a bunch of plants. All of this furniture I just got in last week, which is so exciting because we've been living on a mattress for the last five months. I love this rug. It's super, super soft and plush. Sometimes I like to just sit here and chill and sometimes take naps. And Jupiter really loves it too, as you can see. 
see. This is like where he hangs out with now. The sofa is from West Elm. I've always wanted a nice, comfortable, plush corner, like sectional sofa. So this is really great for chilling and watching TV. But my favorite part are these pillows. These are all from an artisan market called the Ciudad Vela Mexican Artisanal Market. I'll link to it below. But they have all these handmade crafts like from all over Mexico and this is stuff you can't find on like Amazon, you know? So I really love it and I'm looking forward to filling up the house with more like locally made artisan beautiful items. This is the guest bathroom. I completely changed out the tiles in both bathrooms and this is where I had another maddeningly frustrating renovation mistake with my plumber. So Again, going back to the whole thing where like sometimes they don't ask me questions. He actually ended up putting the wrong tile on the floor and then he had to rip it out and put the new one in and that obviously delayed things by like two weeks. So that was super frustrating, but in the end, it came out good, right? And that's all that matters. So this part is actually still not done yet. I still need to get the bathroom vanity furniture and the mirrors in, but I love the flooring. I kind of wanted to do something a little exciting and patterned for the bathrooms. So yeah, I love it. Now let's go up to the bedroom. Welcome to the bedroom area where all the magic happens. Now when I first got this apartment, it was very much like a open floor layout and the bedroom was just one big kind of block. There was not even a closet. So this whole wall partition is completely new. I added it so that it would separate like the sleeping area from the makeup, closet, dressing, and bathroom area. Something else I had to do was when I first got this place, the floor was this really ugly like cherry red hardwood stain and it didn't match the color of the hardwood in the living room floor. And I'm a huge stickler for matching things like it's such a pet peeve when houses have like 12 different floors. So I took off the stain and you know sanded it and had to get a different color. And that was quite a struggle. Like I had to really work with the carpenter to get the right color to match the hardwood floor in the living room. You feel like these kind of things would be easy, but like nothing in renovation is easy. It takes a lot of like decision making and research and trial and error and a whole lot of stuff. I also added these floating lamps that you can control from the bedside. And now I wanna show you my favorite part of the bedroom, which is the closet, the walk-in closet. So this wall partition created this like kind of private dressing area. And I added this built-in vanity and kind of a California closet system. None of this was here. My carpenter did a pretty good job with that. It's always been my dream to have a walk-in closet. So I have one now. Okay, and now we are headed to the master bathroom. This probably took the most work and troubleshooting and problem solving because I really wanted a bathtub. And most of the Airbnbs that I've stayed in Mexico City didn't have bathtubs. So maybe it's not really a common thing in Mexico, but I wanted a bathtub for my daily bath. But the problem was this door used to be like one of those um, opening doors. And if I put a bathtub there, it would bang into the door. So I'm really proud of myself for coming up with this like pocket door sliding solution. And also it's like a decorative element also. So that was really nice to figure that out. This place took me a long time because the plumber that I hired, he, he was a good person, but he maybe wasn't the best plumber. So initially all the white subway tile that I put down, he put it down crooked. So it looks really bad. You can see all these shadows. As much as it sucked, I told him I had to redo everything. And obviously he lost a lot of time and money and so did I doing that. So that was another one of those kind of like stupid frustrating renovation mistakes that I had to go through and delayed construction by at least three weeks. But hey, the end result is nice, right? All the tiles have been replaced, both floor and wall. And now it's like this really open, modern, bright color. And this whole bathroom vanity is also new. Before it was just like this ugly plain white ledge and didn't have any storage. But now we've got this nice marble countertop. I still need to get mirrors put in. Those are coming in on 
Tuesday. So there are a few little things that are still missing. One thing I'm definitely gonna do is put more plants in. I feel like it really makes the bathroom feel like a spa. So just imagine yourself taking a bath and you're surrounded by all these plants. So I'm really looking forward to that. There is one last thing that I wanna show you, which may possibly next to the kitchen be my favorite thing in the house, which is my reading nook. So when I first got this place, as I mentioned earlier, this bedroom was just this one white big box. And then they have this awkward like nook here. This shelving was not here. I just added this cushion in. So now I've turned this like awkward nook into a comfortable, cozy reading nook, which is kind of like the living room in the bedroom. So I can totally imagine myself having a cup of tea here, cozied up with a book. Yeah, I'm really happy with like having found something cool to do with a very awkward space. $20,000 that is not including the mistakes and all the times that I've changed my mind So if there's any takeaway that you get from this video, it is to not take renovation advice from me But hey, my perspective is I learned a lot and if I ever do another renovation It's definitely gonna go a lot smoother. I have a home tour coming up soon once I finish furnishing the place So definitely look out for that video and meanwhile, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!